So let me just cover two more quick examples using this slope intercept form. So let's first talk about, let's say y is equal to minus three over two x plus one. And we're gonna compare this to our y is equal to mx plus b, where m is our slope. And so m is the number multiplied by x. So it'd be this fraction here, this minus three over two. And remember, m is our rise divided by our run. So basically, when one of these is negative, instead of rising three units, we're gonna go down three units. And then we're gonna go over to the right two units. So down, down three over two is essentially what this slope means. And then our y-intercept, b, for this slope-intercept form is one. So basically, that tells us that our graph, the equation of this line, is gonna go through the y-axis at a y value of one. So let me draw some coordinate axes and we can plot this. So with our coordinate plane, we can graph this. So we always start with the y-intercept, this b value of one. So that's where it crosses the y axes and at a y value of one. So that would be right there. And then based off our slope, we know that we our rise is negative three. So we go down three, one, two, three. And then we run two, or we go to the right, one, two. So we have our second point, and now we can connect these with a line here. And again, the line is not quite perfect, but it'll give you a rough idea of at least how to do this. And notice that our slope was negative. And whenever you have a negative slope, it's going to be essentially downward facing, whereas a positive slope, so this is negative, positive slope, goes up as x gets more and more positive. So you'll see this often, but the general idea is that these are all negative right here. A, a straight flat line like this, this would actually be a slope of zero. And then anything bigger than that is positive. And let's do one final problem just so that we can be fully comfortable with this. So let's say that we are given the graph of our line and we want to figure out the equation of this line, essentially. So we know we're going to compare it to the y equals mx plus b form. So we need to figure out what the slope is and we also need to figure out what the y-intercept is. And the y-intercept is usually pretty easy to tell. You just find the y-axis and you look at where does the line cross that. So it crosses right here. So it looks like b is simply going to be 4. And now we have to figure out the slope. And always keep in mind, slope is the rise over the run. So when looking at a picture like this, it's often a little bit difficult to find the slope. So what you have to do is you have to find essentially two really clean points. And what I mean by that is that like this point right here is clearly at zero comma four. And let's say this point right here is clearly at one comma one. But like this point right here, we don't really know what that is. That might be like two thirds comma two, but we're not sure. So that is not a clean point. But here's another one, two negative two or three negative five, all of those work. And then we're thinking about our rise over our run. So our rise, it looks like we're going down. So we go down one, two, three units. So our rise is negative three. And our run, it looks like we just go over one. So our run is one. And so our slope, if we simplify this fraction, is just minus three. So in essence, we can now combine this information to determine the equation of this line. So we have y is equal to m times x, but m we figured out is minus three. So we have minus three x, and then b is four, so we're adding b, so plus four. So this right here is the equation of this line. And let's say we wanted to test it just to make sure that this is in fact correct. So let's use another one of these clean points. We know that when x is two, y should be negative two. So if we found the correct equation for this line, if we plug in x equals two, right here, it should give us a y value of negative two. 
And if that's true, if this works, then we know for sure that this is the correct equation. So let's plug it in. We have y is equal to minus 3 times 2 for x. We're just replacing x with 2 plus 4. And so minus 3 times 2 is minus 6 plus 4 gives us minus 2. And so essentially our test worked, which tells us that this is for sure the correct equation of the line.